Sure, you have the Vincent Price thriller monologue, and Boris Karloff did once cover Monster Mash, but that is nothing compared to the fact that Robert England has rapped as Freddy Krueger. And also, the original Jason Voorhees plays in a Jason-themed horror punk band called First Jason. <laughs> There's no disputing Monster Mash is the original goofy horror song. The 1962 Bobby Pickett hit has been covered by everyone from the Misfits to Mannheim Steamroller, plus OG Frankenstein's monster Boris Karloff. The footage of his performance has been lost, but what remains from the show he did it on indicates it must have been super weird. One, two, three, kick! One, two, three, jump, jump! <laughs> Vincent Price's haunting theatrics were perfectly utilized by Quincy Jones in order to make Thriller one of the greatest and spookiest songs of all time. Although Alice Cooper actually got a head start on co-opting Price when he enlisted the horror icon in order to play the spirit of the nightmare in his Welcome to My Nightmare 1975 TV special, My Nightmare. You have to excuse me, but I'm laughing at you, little boy. I'm laughing because you're lost. I'm not lost, I'm sleeping. But it took MTV and the gigantic, unstoppable blob of teenage culture to really kickstart embarrassing musical tie-ins from horror cinema. <laughs> Freddy Krueger was reaching peak pop cultural saturation by the 1987 release of Nightmare 3, Dream Warriors, which is why Dawkins rock him to death in the movie's official music video. Not unlike when Lemmy from Motorhead beat Hellraiser's Pinhead in a game of cards. But it was Freddy, not Pinhead, who ended up hosting on MTV, killing VJs, and generally saying totally weird shit. Now, up next, it's the Vinyls. <laughs> Quippy and sort of sinister and fringe by design, he was sort of a perfect fit for MTV as it exploded and became the sun around which all culture orbited. There was even an incredibly misguided 1987 album, Freddy's Greatest Hits, which attempted to capitalize on the phenomena. But it was the rise of rap that best fit his creepy couplets. Now I have a story that I'd like to tell about this guy you all know. DJ Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince's Nightmare on My Street was rejected as an official tie-in by the producers of Nightmare 4, The Dream Master, which is how Robert England came to make his rap debut with the Fat Boys in 1988. So my advice to you is to stay ready, cause you know who's back? <laughs> Freddy. Freddy, you have to get your bars up. You see, my name is Freddy, and I'm here to say, I'll wrap you up to take you away. I feel like you're tired and ready for bed. Don't fall asleep or you'll wake up dead. Sure. Being a totally silent, machete-wielding lunatic, Jason Voorhees didn't get to star in as many music television specials as his 80s slasher rival. But don't worry, because the guy that played Jason in the first Friday the 13th has a band, and they rip! That's Ari Lehman. This guy. And he plays in this band. First Jason is Ari's horror punk tribute to his roots, and it is exactly as magic as it looks, but not as magic as the Leprechaun. I come from the land of the Irish Spring. Dublin's the place where I learned my thing. From the Emerald Isle to your place in the hood, I'm the man of green, come to do no good. Actually, the only thing that competes with Warwick Davis rapping is Hammer horror legend Christopher Lee singing power metal, which he does so often that we're just gonna give a whole episode to him later on. What's your favorite horror music mashup? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe for more episodes of This Exists. Check out the description for links to all the Freddy Krueger rapping videos you could ever want, but beware. Every town has an Elm Street.